How is a sinus lift done? A comprehensive guide. Sinus lifts, also known as sinus augmentations, are surgical procedures designed to increase the amount of bone in the upper jaw, specifically in the area of the molars and premolars. The procedure is often recommended for patients who have insufficient bone height in the upper jaw or those whose sinuses are too close to the jaw for dental implants to be placed. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how a sinus lift is done. Consultation and Evaluation Before undergoing a sinus lift, a thorough dental examination is necessary. This includes x-rays and possibly a computed tomography CT, scan to measure the height and width of the existing bone and to evaluate the health of the patient's sinuses. Preparation Patients may be prescribed antibiotics to take before the surgery to prevent infection. It's also essential to discuss any medications or health conditions with the dentist or oral surgeon. Anesthesia The procedure begins with the administration of local anesthesia to numb the area where the sinus lift will be performed. Incision and Exposure The surgeon makes an incision in the gum tissue on the back of the upper jaw to expose the bone. A small oval window is then opened in the bone. Lifting the sinus membrane the sinus membrane, which is a soft, fragile tissue, is gently pushed up and away from the jaw. Grafting material placement. Once the sinus membrane is lifted, the space underneath is filled with bone grafting material. This material can be obtained from the patient's body, autogenous bone, a cadaver, allogeneic bone, or synthetic materials. Closing the incision. After the bone grafting material is placed, the tissue window is stitched back together. Some surgeons might place a collagen membrane over the bone graft to help it heal. Recovery The healing process after a sinus lift can take several months, especially if the bone was taken from the patient's hip or tibia. During this time, the bone graft will mesh with the bone already present. Dental Implant Placement once the grafted bone has integrated with the natural bone, dental implants can be placed. This might be anywhere from four to nine months after the sinus lift, depending on individual healing rates and the type of graft material used. Potential risks and complications. Like any surgical procedure, a sinus lift comes with potential risks. The most common complication is a puncture or tear in the sinus membrane. If this occurs, the surgeon might stitch the tear or place a patch over it. In some cases, the procedure might need to be rescheduled to allow the membrane to heal. Other risks include infection, bleeding, and swelling. It's crucial to follow all post-operative care instructions and to keep follow-up appointments to ensure the best outcome. Conclusion a sinus lift is a beneficial procedure for individuals who need dental implants but lack the necessary bone height in the upper jaw. By understanding the steps involved and potential risks, patients can make informed decisions about their dental health. Always consult with a qualified oral surgeon or dentist to determine if a sinus lift is right for you.